So the second topic for this session. Now before we start with the theories, be traditional, be modern, there are certain assumptions you need to keep in mind. Now we have seen the various sources of long term finance. You have debentures, liquidity, preference and retained earnings. But for the purpose of study over here, we will only keep two sources in hand. We will keep debentures which is a part of a borrowed capital and equity which is a part of an owned capital. So keep in mind whatever theory we start up, that cost of debenture and cost of equity are the only things we need to take into consideration or two sources we need to take into account is debentures and equity. Second assumption keep in mind there is no other source available for a company, there is no preference share, there is no retail earnings. Whatever profits a company earns, it gives back to the shareholders in the form of dividend. Nothing is retained back in the business. Remember earnings available to shareholders. Full earnings are given back to equity shareholders. Nothing is retained back at this point of time. Third assumption keep in mind, EDO, EBIT of the company is going to remain constant. EBIT will not change. There are no taxes. There is no personal tax. There is no corporate tax. Similarly, assets of the company will remain same. The company is going to go for a long period of time. So, small, small assumptions you need to keep in mind before. And the risk of the company will remain less. And risk will not change when we take into account the capital structure decisions. In short, keep certain assumptions in mind. Only two sources for a purpose of the study. One is debenture, other is equity. Second assumption, there are no taxes. Third assumption, keep in mind is that EBIT will remain constant. These three important decisions keep in mind before we actually start up is capital structure theories.